What's going on Newcastle fans TV? Last game of the season, Newcastle 3 at Chelsea 0. Joined by Johnny Mate, what a game. Oh, I, I was just talking before about what I think the game of the season was and I thought it was going to be tough to beat the Man United, maybe even the Arsenal game as well. But I think Man United still beats it because of the importance of it. But you couldn't have asked anything, any more of any of the players today. I think every single player put in one hell of a performance and you know, we thoroughly deserve it. We made Chelsea look so ordinary today. Barkley, Bakayoko, Moses, they were awful, absolutely awful. Giroud only had one chance early on in the second half. Hazard was pretty, was very, very quiet. You know, we made them look distinctly average today and that was just, it was wonderful to see. I think going into the first half, it was important that we got that first goal, you know, just to settle any sort of nerves. I mean, we had top 10 to play for anyway, so yeah. you know, that was important, you know, to end the season on a high, not to get beat because there was always that tension of Chelsea potentially getting Champions League, you know, looking look at Brighton, they may be able to go to Anfield and get to it, which I knew wasn't going to happen anyway. Uh, but I think the minute we got that first goal, I was always confident that we were going to get that second goal. In any game you want to, when you're playing well, get the goal to kind of justify that, yeah, they've actually played well to get their 1 0 lead, and we deserved it. So I think Chelsea only started playing. Second Maybe off. 10 minutes in the first, first 10 minutes in the second half. I think we got the second goal against the winner play, but. Shelby? Yeah, or Perez, we'll see. But. Look, I think for, for myself, I think when we were in the first half, we had a lot of possession of the ball. John Joe Shelby getting the ball and doing what he likes. Championship teams last season were man marking Shelby at times. No one was going to, to, uh, to Shelby today to put a little bit of pressure on. It was so easy for him and Diarmi a day. Like, they, they couldn't have, like, couldn't have asked for an easy day. I think Chelsea gave up the Champions League within the first five seconds of the, the game today. I think they just didn't look up, look up for it. They thought, well, Liverpool are going to get at least a draw. They're not going to uh, lose against Brighton. No disrespect to Brighton, but yeah, I think I'd be really disappointed because it's, you know, Chelsea sold out again today and it's a waste of money, essentially, for them. You know, they come all the way up here. It's, we've, we've done this journey, you know, down south. They've done it up north today. It's a, it's a long, long journey. And none of those players put any effort a day. I think we put the final nail in Conte's coffin a day like because it was ridiculous by then. Do you think Conte will get the sack? Oh yeah. I, I, look, even if, if he wins the FA Cup, maybe he has a chance of saying, "Abraham, just give me one more year if you give us the money." But he's got—I don't think Abraham has got any interest in giving Conte the money to go right. You can go with your players that you want because it's just not the Chelsea way. You know, you, they've had better managers, arguably, than Conte, Mourinho, uh, Ancelotti. They've had better managers, and they're not really giving them a lot of, a lot of money to go, yeah, that's your players. Um, so, no, I, don't, I can't see anything changing. I don't know who will take over Chelsea, but maybe Luis Enrique, but I don't know. Do you not think that was a factor of why they were so bad today, knowing that they've got the FA Cup just around the corner? Players don't really want to get injured. They don't want to really go all out, which is, you could, there was evident on the pitch, really. Chelsea just looked a lost cause, really. Didn't Chelsea still had Champions League to play for. You know, if Liverpool did something miraculous and lost against Brighton, you know, potentially, you know, they would, they would have been the favourites today. And you look at the midfield and you go, hold on, Barkley. Barkley hasn't played a game Barkley for them all season. Barkley hasn't played a game for them all season. Where was Fabregas today? You're not telling me Fabregas can't play two games in a week? Come on, man, don't be silly, man. It's a, it's a load of rubbish. But in terms of Newcastle, a day, we were fantastic. And every single player gave absolutely everything today. I think you've got to give special mentions to DR, Michel, and Perez today. Um, at them three a day were just a different level. Really, were a different level. Gale got his goal finally. I think, I think as, he puts in so much effort. You want him to get the goal, and you know he couldn't have asked for an easier, easier uh, chance to get the goal. So I was, I was quite happy for him as well because you know he's been getting a bit of stick. So it'd be, it was nice for him to get the goal. I think the fact that we've won three 0 and so comfortable as well, end of the season, and just to end the season on a high is, is that's what you want. It's perfect, perfect way. You know, we finished tenth in the. Tenth of league I will say that top ten. What do you think? Sharky, do you know after we played Man City? And I'm not just saying because of the Man City performance, but it was around about the Christmas time. We're just beating West Ham and we just just got out the bottom three. If I said to you, we're gonna lose four of the last five games and we're gonna stay up and we're gonna be tenth in the league. I'd snap your hand off. I'd snap your hand off, I think you would have thought I was on something, honestly. Like, come on, like, that doesn't happen. We've beaten Man United, we've beaten Arsenal, we've beaten Leicester. Um, we've beaten teams that we're not expecting to beat and we've picked points up away from home, which has just been enough. And look, there's been so many teams that I think I thought, oh, we'll be fine, we'll, we'll stay up. Look at the three teams that have went down and look at the, one of the teams that just stayed up. West Brom, Stoke, Swansea, Southampton. Those have been the teams that have been in and around top half, maybe Swansea's a bit lower, but they've never really looked like going down. 
It's only this season where they've just put the, they've took the foot off the gas and the likes of Newcastle, the likes of Brighton, the likes of Huddersfield, the likes of Crystal Palace, you know, have gone, well, do you know what? We're going to take advantage of this and we've managed to get a top half finish finally. I don't know how, but... You've uh, got to give massive credit to Rafa, really, for believing in the players, you know, for the, the players that you managed to get in over the course of the January to try and help her going forward because we looked so lost her going forward at the start of the season. And then, though, the goals that have got with, you know, the wins in the bigger games, I think he did... You know, top, top ten now. We really need to build up uh, for next season. I mean, we, it's not you know, it, it's not to say that we're, we're you know we had a good season, but we need more you know more money. We need look, we need strengthening. Yeah, firstly, Rafa deserves huge credit because what he's done with that with that squad is mir almost miraculous. If I'm being honest, favourites to go down. You know, one of the favourites, and we, we should have been nowhere near the top ten to be honest with you. But this is where Mike Ashley needs to get his finger out his arse and go and look. Either sell the club and go. Right, give it to somebody else that wants to do something, or give them the money to spend. I don't think personally he'll he'll have it while a takeover with us somewhere. I really don't. I think if he was serious about takeover, or was interested party serious in a takeover this summer, they would have gone about the Arsenal game and gone, look, we're safe now. It's a 99% chance we're going to stay up. Let's get a deal sorted by this time uh, by this time next month, which is now, and then Rafa gets two months to go, and two or three months to get the players he wants. It hasn't happened, we've heard nothing, the media's heard nothing, you know, nothing's happening anytime soon. So I think we've got to just hope and pray that Mike Ashley gives uh, the money to Rafa Benitez. You know, I, I, I can't understand, I can't understand what Lee Charney's role in all this is. Mike Ashley says, yes, you can have the money, or Mike Ashley says, no, you can't have the money. If he says, no, Rafa goes, if he says, yes, you know, who knows what can happen? Who knows? That's the, that's the thing. You don't know what happens in Newcastle. We can lose to West Brom, we can beat Chelsea. But let's just give Rafa a chance to take us further, take us forward to the next uh, next step. So potentially big signing. So you look at Dubravka, the goalkeeper. I mean, four million, an absolute steal. We should be going for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Got, got to get Dubravka. Made hey, Kennedy, two, Kennedy. Yeah, Dubravka made two fantastic saves today. Uh, Kennedy, why not? Why not? Because he's better than what we've got. I think let's try and get something like 15, 16 million from. I think Chelsea probably want about 20. But let's, just, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. But we've got to, got to at least try to go for these players because they're the, because they're the big players. So who was your man of the match today? The man of the match. I think Lee's wanted to get a stop here. Like <laughs> um, man of the match. I think last last one. I think he's uh, it, oh it's so difficult. I'll say John Joe Shelby gives him one percent better chance of going to uh, the World Cup in Russia. So forget about Newcastle for a couple of weeks and come on England. Eh? So that's me, Johnny's fourth three in Newcastle. Absolutely fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to put your comments down below. And I'll see you later.